Foundation to connect trauma survivors online and create a community of healing. Let's take a look back at her amazing and inspirational journey. I don't get as emotional talking about it anymore because it feels like I'm in control and I'm moving myself forward and reclaiming my own life by doing it. Megan Bull is feeling stronger than ever nearly two and a half years after surviving the Gilroy Garlic Festival shooting that took the lives of three people. Me and my partner started to run and that's when we heard a continual like 30 shots going off and everything around us was honestly chaos. We were right in the section where the shooter was. Oh, they shoot him. The two were unharmed physically, but it didn't take long for Megan to start to feel symptoms of PTSD. Any loud noises, strangers, any of those things would bring back quite a bit of flashbacks. The day after, I didn't leave my bed. It, even now, it makes me emotional thinking of how low of a point that was. Struggling to find any solid resources for trauma survivors, Megan started going to therapy. She was beyond helpful, but I kept thinking and trying to keep myself motivated of what I, what do I want to do despite what happened to me. Written on a pizza box, the idea of Reclaim Foundation was born, a nonprofit to help other survivors of trauma. Just as Megan was gaining a semblance of normalcy, she survived another kind of tragedy, a hit and run crash. Broke my back in two places and then pushed my vertebrae towards my nerves. So I actually needed four screws and two rods to hold my back back together. After Megan got spinal surgery, she learned how to walk and get her strength back up, becoming even more inspired to help others. I've lived through the worst now. I don't want to let these two things limit me from doing it. Reclaim Foundation is completely run by volunteers and supported by donations. The mission is to provide resources to survivors of trauma and connect them with other survivors. Megan is also launching a portal on the website this summer, allowing survivors to write in an online journal to express themselves privately or share publicly. I've been affected by mass shootings, so I could write an entry, put it into that that community and then other survivors can read it and also share their advice. And at just 25 years old, with two life-shattering traumas under her belt, Megan's life work will continue to be helping other survivors. Well, I hope traumas cease to exist. For now, they are ongoing, and I hope that Reclaim Foundation can help anyone affected. And joining me now with an update on this amazing organization is Megan Bull herself. Megan, thank you so much for joining us thank here on Live in the Bay. Thank you so much for having me. I'm happy to be back. <laughs> of course, let's first talk about what it was like for you to become a remarkable woman. What has this experience been like? Incredible. There's so many remarkable women in my own life. It feels a little bit strange to put myself in that category with them, but I'm extremely honored. And what was the process like for you when you were going through this process, finding out if you would be nominated and when you were nominated? Beyond shocking. So I actually didn't even know I was nominated or anyone had sent me in until I found out that I actually was a finalist for the local Cron 4. Mm -hmm. So I got an email to my inbox saying, congratulations, you're a finalist. And I said, for what? <laughs> I didn't even know someone submitted me. I called my friend Lindsay and she was actually the one that had sent me in. And it was a wonderful kind of spiral of events from there. And yeah. meeting with Sarah and doing my initial interview and then moving on to the national Remarkable Woman. Well, you've done some incredible things and you've also been through a lot, but you started this foundation, the Reclaim Foundation. Can we talk about that? And when did you first get it started? How'd the idea come about? Yeah, so in 2019, I was in the Gilroy Garlic Festival shooting, was struggling immensely with PTSD and mental health. I had just moved to San Francisco and I didn't know what to do. I, there aren't a lot of resources out there for mental health in general, let alone a mass casualty in a shooting. And so I slowly started going to therapy and therapy was extremely helpful, but there was a lot of resources that were still missing for my recovery. And then in 2020, amidst the pandemic that everyone else was struggling through, I was in a hit and run car accident that left me needing major spinal surgery. Mm -hmm. And so now I had a mental ailment and now a physical ailment. And I had to try to combat two traumas that were different sides of things, but were still 
really similar and still had a lot of difficulties. And so Reclaim Foundation was born out of that, a place for trauma survivors of any kinds or multitude of traumas to be able to connect and find the help that they need. Wow, so, so incredible that you took things that you went through and then use it to help others. For you, when you found out you were nominated as a remarkable woman, how did that also help the foundation? Oh, oh my gosh, I can't even put it into words because getting my story out there, I had so many other survivors reaching out with their own stories and saying, just seeing it on TV, seeing a story that mimics their own was just important to them to have that reflection and to be able to share it, see where the resources are. And it was just the start of really building Reclaim Foundation to the point where we are now. And how have you seen that grow? How have you seen the Reclaim Foundation grow in so many different ways? Yeah, so we're, we're only two years old. We're 100% volunteer ran and we needed help, we needed money, and we needed survivors to find us. And through The Remarkable Woman, we kind of reached all of those things. We're still looking for more help, but we were able to launch a therapy financial assistance program so those that can't afford therapy can receive the therapy that they need. We launched a scholarship so anyone impacted by trauma can reclaim their life through education or trade schools. And it's just the beginning. Just the beginning of so many incredible things to come. But what is next to come? Oh my gosh, we hope people find Reclaim Network. Um, it's our new online community where you can journal independently or share those entries with other survivors. So we're hoping people continue to use these resources, share them, and then also donate. We're 100% volunteer ran, so we do need help running these, enacting our mission and getting it out to the people that need it. Well, congratulations on being a remarkable woman and making a huge difference in so many people's lives. The work that you are doing is just absolutely incredible. And thank you for your time here on thank Live in the Bay, Thank you so Megan. much. Thank you for having me. I actually brought this for you. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. I would, I'll open it actually right here, a little <laughs> exclusive gift. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll be very gentle here. <laughs> And what is this? Oh, a dealing deck. Yes. I love this. So we partnered with a really wonderful group called the Dealing Deck, and they were a group of high school girls that were aiming to help reduce suicide rates in teens. And we thought oh their mission in relation to ours interconnected perfectly. So together we created the Reclaim Foundation Dealing Deck cards, where each card has a different coping mechanism on it. Mm. So on hard days, or if you're dealing with trauma, whatever it may be, you don't have to try to go online and find something that's going to help. You can just flip a card and do whatever it says on it. That is beautiful. What a, thank you so much. Thank a wonderful you. gift. And <laughs> so many things that, that, so many people that that can help. Thank you so much, Megan. Of course. To learn more about the Reclaim Foundation, we'll have a link on our website at liveinthebay.tv. And Cron 4 is once again so